Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dortmund.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fly the latest Matrix ROM Android 16 base onto Nothing Phone 2. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, install the Android SDK platform tools from my article, extract them onto your PC. You can do so anywhere you want. Once you have done so, you will get the following files that I'm show you for the platform tools. Just give me a second, these are not the files. And now you'll see the following files of platform tools as you could see over here. Once you've done the extraction, now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's first enable both the toggles onto our phone. For that, go to settings. From there, go to about phone. Then over here, nothing OS and tap on build number seven times. You are now developer. So now go back, again go back, go to system, dev options, enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Just give me a second. Enable USB debugging as well. Tap on OK in the prompt that appears. You might get one more prompt. So again, tap on allow. And with this, the debugging is now enabled. Let's first do a verification. For verifying it, type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools. Hit the enter key. Now type in the command of ADB devices and verify you're having an ID. Let's see that. Okay, just give me a few seconds. You will get a prompt, type on allow. And that is it, we are having this ID. So now you have to unlock the phone. For that, boot up phone to fast boot mode. Then type in the command forward flashing unlock. You'll get a prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to highlight unlock the phone and then press the power key to confirm. And that is it. We have made a video and article on that as well. You may have a look at that and get the job done. Moving on, our next action is to get the matrix OS ROM file from this link, official ROM page there. So get the ROM file. Just give me a second. The ROM file should be here only. And I have the ROM. I am using the G app build. You have both the G apps and the non G apps. Using the G app for now. Once you have got the ROM file, let's move ahead with the next step. So now boot the phone to fast boot mode. For that, open the CMD window and type in the command of ADB. Reboot, boot loader and hit enter. And with this, the phone should now be in the fast boot mode in just a few seconds. Let's wait for that to happen. And after that, we will then start with the ROM flashing. So let's keep a tab on this. Then likewise, also type in the command of fast boot devices and verify you're having an ID. As you could see, we're having this ID, that's all well and good. But if you're not having any ID, in that case, please install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. The link for the fastboot drivers are given in my article. I also have a video on that. So please have a look at that. The link is given over here. Once that is done, do a right click on the Windows icon and choose Device Manager. Down, expand the Android phone section and verify your phone is shown here as Android bootloader interface, as you could see over here. So that's all well and good. Okay, one more thing, the ROM requires you to, to be on Nothing OS 3.2 firmware, not Nothing OS 4. So please do a downgrade to Android 15 from Android 16 using my article. So do a downgrade and once you are on Nothing OS 3.2, Android 15, you will then flash the ROM file. So I am already on Nothing OS 3.2, I can flash the ROM file now only. So first off, let's wipe the super slot of our phone via the super empty IMG file. You may get the file from my site from over here. It should be here only, this is the file. So get the file once you've got it. Just give me a second. I should be having the file as well onto my PC. My PC is all full with all the ROM files and I have to make it somewhat empty because it's slowing down my file, my PC as well. Super empty NP2, this is the file. Copy it from here, paste the file inside platform tools. Likewise, do a renaming and remove the numbers from the very end. It should only be done super underscore empty, nothing else. So let's do a renaming, remove the five and NP2. Now let's wipe the super slot of our phone via the super empty file. The command is given in the steps only. So this is the command for the ROM flashing and over here only. We have the command, so copy the entire command, paste the command in the CMD window. Just give me a second, paste the, copy the command from here. Paste the command in the CMD window, which is over here. Hit the enter key. And you could now see it's complete. So moving on, our next action is to flash the for recovery. So we have made a separate video on that as well. I'll show you once again, but to be on safer side, let me show you. The first step is done. Second step is also done. Third step is also complete. So fourth step, get the file from here. Once you've got the recovery file, extract it onto your PC. So let me just see that. I should be having orange fox. It's for, this is the file, extract it and then get the recovery IMG file. Copy the file from here, paste the file inside platform tools. Let's now flash the file onto our phone. For that, the command is quite simple. So open the CMD window and type in the command of fastboot flash. 
partition name which is the recovery partition just give me a second the recovery partition and the file name is also recovery.img so now hit the enter key flashing will now start take only a few seconds and when that is complete type in the command of fastboot reboot recovery and the phone should now be in the orange box recovery in a few more seconds let's keep a tab on that after which we will flash the ROM file so let's first wait for the phone to boot to the recovery mode but our first action now is to do our phone formatting which is a must so let's just do that as well this will take a few more seconds we are now inside the recovery mode so first and foremost it's of very important to do a phone formatting this will wipe off all the data from your phone so please make sure you have taken a backup beforehand if you've taken a backup that's good and now let's do a factory reset of our phone in a few more seconds we should now be inside the recovery mode after which do, go to wipe format data type in yes hit the orange check mark and the formatting is now complete once that is done go back menu reboot choose the recovery this will remount the phone's data slot and our phone should now be shown on a pc in just a few more seconds once that is done we must then do a file transfer of the rom file onto our phone and then flash it but if our phone is not shown on the pc not an issue i'll show you one more way of doing flashing the rom file there are quite a few ways of doing this job let's first take the easier way out and let's see if the phone is shown on our pc or not so phone is not inside the recovery mode and currently it's not shown here let's give it some more time it's shown here but we cannot access the storage so no issue whatsoever do one thing so go to uh, your download folder get the rom zip file which in my case is this one so copy the rom zip file paste the file inside pl platform tools then do a renaming as well let's rename it to rom and the name becomes rom.zip now open the cmd window type in the command adb push file name is rom.zip space forward slash sd card the file will now be transferred onto our phone this will take a few seconds so let's wait for that to complete so guys the file is now onto our phone let's flash it choose the file swipe to flash and it's now started this will take around four to five minutes so let's keep a track on that so guys the flashing is now complete let's just verify it once and it's now done so once again do a phone formatting go to wipe format data type in yes it's now complete now the last action you could see the flashing is done in slot b and the active slot is slot a so let's now make a slot switch in my case i'm on slot a currently but the rom is on slot b so let's make a slot switch from here so go to reboot and choose switch to slot b just make a switch to the slot b or a whichever is the non-active slot currently and you could see it's now done and dusted slot change is now complete so now you want to type on reboot system you will get a warning sign just ignore that it's all normal swipe to reboot the phone should now be inside the os in just a few moments so let's keep a time on that the first booting up will take up some time which is all normal nothing to worry about as such let's keep see the boot logo or the boot animation which might now appear in time soon after the nothing logo the morning sign we should now have the boot animation so that will signify we have done the flashing successfully so let's at least see that and then we will have to wait for a few more seconds and we are now you could see we have the got the animation so the flashing is now complete successfully no issue whatsoever let's wait for the phone to boot to the os now and we are inside the os so let's get started with the setup process let's skip this for now if you want you may connect to wi-fi link your google account and restore all the app data as well but that will take a lot of time so let's skip that for now and just set up my phone and we are inside the os so we have a few pre-installed google apps which are because i'm using a gi package it's all normal and this is the new qs tiles settings menu is over here and then all the tweaks lies in this section let's have a look at all of their tweaks first of we have the ui let's say expressive style settings menu do a ui restart then and it's not changed this looks much better than before lock screen media cover art battery info is fine if you want you may enable weather in the lock screen as well but th this will require wi-fi to be enabled at all times tap to sleep is working double tap to wake is also working you may change the fingerprint icons from here there are various icons to choose from as you could see and you may also change the animations as well i made a short video on all of these animations if you want you may have a look at that it will be quite helpful fingerprint animations and then vibration is also required in the qs settings header image you may add an image if required from this section let's say anyone x-men 
browse installed and you may, you may change your image from here wavy let's set up any one of the following let's say wavy noon and it's now enabled as you could see at the top it's optional although you may turn that off as well battery style let's say dotted circle and it's now changed as you could see the top right battery percentage is fine when to show brightness there is shape let's say rounded square give it a few seconds and then you will see it's now changed this is the one which has just been changed then apart from that qs style shape if we choose square let's see now well not exactly what i was wanting it's not good let's choose to dynamic only then you may add more columns or remove the columns and rows as well from this section after this we have to set up bar tweaks icons you must show or hide the icons from this section clock style is fine clock and date you may then add a background chip it seeks added now add the seconds as well after that wi-fi tweak colored icons and they are now enabled just lock your phone and lock it and you could now see the colored icons at the top left of the icon add a logo of your choice from here emoticon devil you could see it's added now flash this one was nice the last one i used the devil one then battery style in the settings system status bar dotted circle battery bar for example when the phone is fully charged will be green low battery color is red charging is yellow calendar is being charged by usb so you could see it's a yellow in color but i'm not a fan of this let's turn this off brightness controls from here only setting the bar and it's working quick pull down from both hand sides working well and good notifications for the notification tweaks are there four stop button let's see if this is there or not it's added but please don't do a four stop of the system app that might lead to some issues sound tweaks are given here as well vibrations are required for me both the haptics and vibrations are a must to me buttons power menu advanced you start is there what all options we are having this time around system recovery fastboot system ui all the four options are nice fastboot d is not required so we may skip that miscellaneous gaming space unlock higher fps and game that is a must for me for the pif we have this then for the play negative fixed properties keybox file is there as well so currently i have a keybox file let me just test it out whether it works or not or reward or unreward i am doing a check right now and you could see it's currently not reward great to see so let's now try it out so first of all you have to connect to wi-fi as well for the pif file so it will take only a few seconds let's establish the wi-fi connection because the pif file is a must for us so once that is done first off you have to enable pif which will give you a new pif files after that tap on keybox that is an override and let's load a keybox file so just let me enable file transfer from here once that is done let's now load the keybox file onto our phone i should be having a keybox file onto my pc the latest file is this one i suppose let's copy the file paste the file onto our phone and do a renaming as well let's rename it to keybox only keybox let's remove the numbers from the very end to be on the safer side let's do that so it's just the keybox file and now let's load the file onto our phone so keybox at a station override choose the keybox file and now you will pass the strong test with ease because we're using the same file which you're using on my secondary phone and on that phone i'm passing the strong test so now you'll pass the strong test over here as well anyways moving on we also have the unlimited google photo storage from here that's great to see unlimited netflix proof is also there you now watched all the drm all the content in full hd 1080p drm1 wide one l1 will now be back onto our phone allow app downgrade is a must for me as well then hide the status you may add your status from here for example apps like banking app also checks for the dev status you may hide them from the section hide app list you may hide the apps from the routing app for example you may hide all the routing app from a banking app then three finger swipe let's say take a screenshot well screenshot screenshot where it is i cannot find the screenshot this is the one it's working well and good as well miscellaneous this is complete now let's see the what you can size section so from here in the home screen you may change the themes from here or from this section social light theme or back to dark theme from here then uh, enable theme icons they are now implemented as you could see change the average size for me is the 5 cross 5 which i use always and they is are now applied as well icon shapes status bars 
let's go with uh, something more rounded lumpy looks fine and it's now applied font style anyone will do for now let's choose the last one volte round and it's applied as well icon shape let's go with the pebble apply and you could see the change is now implemented apart from that in the lock screen what all we have so we have a few clock size this is a new one i haven't seen this on any other tom this is also new then then or oh, what this is new as well so they have a few different clock style this one as well so there are a few different styles of clock let's choose this one then apart from that in the home settings icons you may change the icon packs from here notification dots is given already then in the home screen you may carry out a few tweaks for example swipe to access google app which is this one it's currently enabled for me because i have a gia package which has the google apps then status bar tweaks shadow at a glance is this one you will turn that off if not required then you also have the option to enable google search bar at the bottom which is this one in the app drawer we have opacity of the background let's keep it at low 50 percent let's see now this looks much better to me then in the recent screens you could enable the memory info lens then ram info as well and they are now implemented the memory info there as well now and that is it i suppose so guys that's all from this video if you have any query with regards to any of the steps let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching the video